Honestly, I can't even believe you would look at me and the word gringo would even come to mind. I think we got a fucking Mexican racist. Does it make your life easier just to throw a quick racist term at somebody? A man who has seen the things I've seen, experienced the loss and pain that I've experienced? <laughs> I transcend race, hombre. So, Kenny, how do you feel about playing for New York? You mean Jew York? It's fucking great. I gotta tell you, I thought the blacks in Baltimore were bad, but turns out they're nothing compared to these fags you got in San Francisco. <laughs> I was your savior. I was your knight in shining armor. In each of you were the chinks upon my armor. Each of you were the chinks. You all were the chinks. Remember me, my chinks. A man who drank his ass all the way down to the butthole of America. Fucking Mexico. I'll who the fuck is that? How many people you got crammed up in there? Yeah, it looks like she's cooking seared titty for somebody right now. And I feel like this is some goddamn National Geographic shit. This, the, the language barrier, honestly, is just so fucking frustrating right now. All right, I'm just gonna be straight with you for a second here, okay? Okay. I'm new to Mexico, and I'm trying to adjust, and most things are cool, but I'm also kind of feeling a little weird and fucking empty all the time and just fucking alone. I mean, right now, I just would like the comfort of somebody who seems normal. And even though you're Mexican, you seem normal to me. Look at the goddamn sax player from Lost Boys out here trying to rub the goddamn language barrier in my face. <laughs> Is this guy giving you any trouble? Or are you looking for some? No, 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 he's not giving me any trouble. He's just a tourist who's lost. Where's the baseball card? It's worth five bucks. Take that with me. Shh, trying to pocket it. Keep my fucking eye on you. Mr. Powers. Petros Marcos. What the hell are you doing up against this wall trying to creep on me? I work for Mr. Cisneros, the owner of the Charros. Your new boss. He would like to meet you. Well, where the fuck is he? Follow me. You learn me into a rape or something? What is this? Cool. How much exactly does it cost to uh, buy a Mexican baseball team? Ten bucks and a burrito? <laughs> That's racism, man. I love to racism, bro. Kenny Powers, he's the white flame, and he's burning this country to the fucking ground. The white flame. It means you, white flame. Me? White flame? No, dude, that's lame as shit. Where the fuck did you hear that? Stupid kid probably just made that up. So fuck it. Let's see here. How you say black in Espanol? Negro. You said it, not me. Negro hombre. That's what you and your little buddies need to be chanting, all right? None of this La Flama whatever shit. Take that. Why do you keep telling me to go home? Why don't you go home? Where the fuck are you from? You're not from Mexico. I'm from the streets of Bombay. Mexico is the place where the gold is. Well, I haven't seen any fucking gold around here. Tony, can you take the computers out of your ears? Tony, take the computers out of Los Ojos. Just take your head headphones down. Take them out of the ears. Mexicans, oh Mexicans, for once in your life, get off your couches and do something. None of this matters, all right? Did you hurt my feelings? Yes, you did. I will give you that victory. But the one victory you will not have is the most important. I'll admit, that sweet tailpipe of yours did have me charmed. It put a spell on me. But all the ass magic in Mexico can't change Kenny Powers from his core beliefs. Not an ass man. I'm a tit man. I like big ass boobs, now and forever. I'm not like a black guy, Vita. Congratulations. Oh. Katui's wife, grandma lady, I know that we all, we didn't communicate. I don't think we ever really got over that language barrier. No, it's not, it's not your fault. What the fuck, you speak English? Of course I do. You've spoke English the whole time I've been here. But I speak English since I was five years old. Five years old. And I have 84 now. Woo! You don't look a day over 110. <laughs> oh, well, I think I've fucking figured it out here. Mm -hmm. You being all coy, him being all damn touchy-feely. I mean, I knew things had probably gotten dark for you here, April. I just I never imagined this shit had gotten this dark. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you do the math, buddy. She has all her cousins in there. I feel like I'm being strangled by, like, a, a bunch of, of, of Mexicans on a necklace just trying to... That's love, dude. That's love? Let it take hold and rip out every last breath you have. What's cracking, y'all? 
Your base tan's looking nice. I'm hoping to get there myself this season. You burn that fucking monkey. Not you, Darnell. Shane and Powers. Hi. Yo, Jamie. What's up, dog? Kenny. You know, you know, <laughs> you know. Excuse me, I'm sorry if I don't know how to wrap him up in a papoose and bounce him on my head in a basket like your people do. Look, I can't understand a fucking word you're saying. And why are you wearing FUBU? That's for them, by them. You're assimilating weird. You look like a goddamn strange sort of Mexican grimace. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mammy makes the best dumplings in the world. Mammy's dumplings will make you come. Oh, come foo. Oh. <laughs> Have a look on the mound with me. Who the fuck is this idiot? He's from Russia. First name Ivan, last name Dachenko. Asian dude. I'm dying to know, how much better is America than the Russian place? By Russian place, do you mean Russia the nation? Yeah. America is good, you know? It's like, it's like Russia in many ways, I feel <laughs> like. You should come and visit sometime. Why would I want to go to Russia? There obviously have been enemies of America for the longest time. Why Not would I go for many this? years. That's all over now. That ended back in the 80s almost. So you think? Well, the people in charge don't think that. You think there's still conflict between... Do I think? I know. Whatever. Tomato, tomato. Which one? What, what is he talking about? You said tomato, tomato. I don't know. I think we got a little language barrier. What is going on, on here? This, this is what you want me to do? Just so I can sit here and play word games with this motherfucker? That was good. We got a language barrier. Welcome to America, baby dick. Oh, hello. <laughs> Rule Savas, I'm a Chinese man. Oh, psych. That wasn't funny, Chang. And I'm also really sorry for positioning you right here to be the punchline on my fucking t-shirt. That's not funny, okay? Nobody laugh at this. Chang, it's not fucking funny. Looks like your favorite star player slash team leader is hosting the biggest, baddest, most patriotic throwdown in town. All of Myrtle Beach Elite is going to be there. And guess what? All you motherfuckers are invited. <laughs> Except for Ivan. Because he's Russian. Why well, invite him to America's birthday? <laughs> it's like inviting a Jew to Christmas, you know? If you don't believe, you don't get fucking presents. <laughs> you know, we have saying in Russia, the wolf pack, the alpha thinks he is the alpha, but sometimes he is actually the zeta. <laughs> well, sometimes in a pack of wolves, there's sometimes a Russian. And that when the wolves find out that he's Russian, they tear his fucking ass apart. Pull it in here, merman. Yeah. That. That's right. Nope, nope. That's right. <coughs> Boom! Position confirmed. Team leader still. It turns out that fucking Orientals are highly sensitive. I never, I would have bet a million dollars that they were not a sensitive race of people. I don't give a fuck about the sensitivity of Orientals. I'm Damn it, Rich! Told you break his arm. Don't disobey me. I'm your master. You are my possession. You'll carry out my will or you'll feel my lash. Don't raise up on me. Break his arm. Do it. No. Back off. Creatures. You lesser dams. Oh, hell no. I've been wanting to kick your old worthless ass off my team for such a long time. Well, I look forward to never seeing your wrinkly fucking face again either. Fuck you, fat fucking hunky. And fuck you too, you black dick licker. <laughs> <laughs> you shit slicker. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you and your mama too. I hope you get AIDS. <laughs> bye bye, motherfucker. Well, you guys, I did what I had to do. I gave up fame for true love. No, 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 no. Love. I want to see what that stripper looked like. <laughs> <laughs> What's your fucking take Don Tell down, man? He's turning the sesh into a goddamn minstrel show, dancing around. Ha 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 You want to see a nigga? I will show you a nigga. Yeah, I prefer not to see one today. Oh, 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 okay, everybody calm down. Oh, you know what? I can do impressions too. This is your guy's kid, the one you guys adopted. This, this is him. Hey, you guys don't look like my parents. Where are my parents? 
where my mom and dad go. <laughs> right? This is funny. This is your guy's kid. Uh, wish you guys would have left me in Vietnam in the foxhole instead of that's taking enough. me here to be around everyone else that's like white people. That's, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, our drugs. Our drugs? Your people make this shit, right? I want y'all to pretend that you're digging up the ancient city of El Dorado. And once you find these jewels and treasures, it will save your entire village. Kenny! Hey, wheelbarrow one. See? Pretend like there's a chupacabra chasing your ass. There you go. Faster. Baby! You see this one right here? You see that little brooch on TT's neck there? I used to belong to your great-grandmother. I used it as an incentive yesterday for the workers to see who could do the best work, and he won. TT dug the most. Yeah, stop, drop, open up shop. Look up here, y'all. I returned to you victorious, just like I promised I would. I won that motherfucking dragon boat race, and with the winnings, I've turned this disgusting field into a state-of-the-art Little League facility. I got rid of the sofa, got rid of the hypodermics, the tampons, got rid of the goddamn thrown-up scissor that was everywhere. The orange drank. All that drank, drank is gone. And on top of it, I also hooked y'all up with some new gear. Woo! There it all is. Come, enjoy, my children's. Yeah, yeah. Go on in there. Break you off some. Enjoy new things for the very first time in your lives. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? Is that kid stealing the shit? I think so. Go get his ass. Hey, off the bike. Get your poor ass off the bike. Come on, man. He's getting halfway down the fucking street. Oh, shit, man. Motherfucker's an assassin. The only thing I'm seeing I'd like to put an amend on, perhaps a little more room here for the fixins. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh, we're gonna have a lot of fixins? No, we're gonna have so many fucking fixins up in this motherfucker. We call the sauce station the sauce rack. I quit! Fuck you! Uh, you clean those fixins up right now! Yeah, big boy. From now on, you gotta clean up your own fixins. Teddy Powers is going 10 1. Fucking cock gobbler. Hey. We don't make fun of uh, homosexuals in the show. That's rule one, okay? Gays the new blacks. Get with it. <laughs>